Hi, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICH KSA. I am going to talk about germ cell neoplasms of the ovary, non gestational choriocarcinoma. General background. Non-gestational choriocarcinoma is an exceedingly rare and very aggressive germ cell neoplasm, accounting for less than 1% of primitive germ cell tumors. It can occur in a pure form or as a component of a mixed germ cell tumor. These tumors occur more frequently in children and adolescents 20 years or younger, but a small subset occurs in patients of reproductive age. Patients present with an ovarian mass, which can rupture producing hemoperitoneum. Sometimes the tumor manifests with the Symptoms related to spread to distant sites, such as seizures or severe headaches caused by brain metastasis, isosexual precocity and hormonal menstrual imbalances due to the abnormal beta-HCG production, non-gestational choriocarcinoma, has been found to be resistant to single agent chemotherapy and has a worse prognosis than gestational choriocarcinoma. Please remember that most choriocarcinomas involving the ovary represent metastasis from uterine tumors. The exceedingly rare primary ovarian choriocarcinomas can develop from an ovarian pregnancy gestational type, which is the most common, or as a form of germ cell neoplasm non-gestational. The separation of non-gestational choriocarcinoma from a gestational choriocarcinoma originating from the uterus cannot be made on pathologic examination alone. If pure DNA typing may be required to distinguish between a gestational choriocarcinoma containing paternal DNA and non-gestational choriocarcinoma of maternal germ cell origin. Ovarian gestational choriocarcinomas have a better prognosis than their non-gestational counterparts. Radiology description. On imaging, the tumor appears as a highly vascular solid and cystic mass with hemorrhage and necrosis. This photo shows a pelvic ultrasound showing an echogenic mass in the left adnexal region. Doppler shows the mass to be highly vascular. This photo shows a CECT contrast enhanced computed tomography pelvis axial section showing a large highly vascular mass in the left adnexal region. CT scan and chest X-ray. Choriocarcinoma has a high propensity for hematogenous dissemination. This photo shows a brain CT scan with multiple hyperdense masses in the left hemisphere with midline shift. This photo shows a chest CT scan with two large rounded masses in the periphery of the left lung. This photo shows a chest x-ray of a patient with choriocarcinoma 
showing multiple lung metastases. Gross appearance. Choriocarcinoma is like other germ cell tumors of the ovary, typically unilateral, large, and solid, often with extensive hemorrhage and necrosis. These two photos show multiple hemorrhagic nodules of choriocarcinoma metastatic to liver autopsy specimens. Microscopic features. Choriocarcinoma is a trimorphic trophoblastic tumor that consists of cytotrophoblasts, intermediate trophoblasts, syncytial trophoblasts, usually wrap around sheets or nests of mononuclear trophoblastic cells, cytotrophoblasts, and intermediate trophoblasts. Cytotrophoblasts are round or polygonal cells with single round nuclei, prominent nucleoli, pale cytoplasm, and distinct cytoplasmic membranes. Intermediate trophoblasts are larger than cytotrophoblasts with irregular and smudged nuclei and xenophilic cytoplasm. Syncytial trophoblasts are large irregular cells with multiple nuclei and xenophilic cytoplasm and they may become elongated with smudgy nuclei. These two photos show islands of viable tumor surrounded by large zones of hemorrhage and coagulative necrosis which are typical in choriocarcinomas. Necrosis is common and lymphovascular invasion is frequent. This photo shows a choriocarcinoma with atypical trophoblastic cells and increased mitotic activity. This image shows metastatic choriocarcinoma in the lung. This focus show aggregates of large mononuclear trophoblastic cells and a few syncytial trophoblastic cells. Choriocarcinoma has a propensity for early metastasis via hematogenous route. Patients usually have advanced disease at the time of presentation. The most common metastatic sites are lung 90%, liver, gastrointestinal tract, brain, spleen, and adrenals. Immunohistochemistry. Syncytial trophoblasts and intermediate trophoblastic cells show a strong cytoplasmic positivity for beta-HCG, a strong cytoplasmic positivity for alpha inhibin, a strong cytoplasmic and membranous positivity for CK18, a strong nuclear positivity for GATA3. Cytoblast cells are only reactive to cytokeratin-18. Prognosis and therapy. Choriocarcinoma is an aggressive neoplasm showing rapid progression and early metastasis to distant sites including brain and lung. The prognosis of choriocarcinoma is poor largely because of the advanced stage. Death is usually due to hemorrhagic events within the metastasis or from pulmonary insufficiency, tumor burden, or effects of treatment. Treatment includes surgical resection, unilateral oophorectomy as a fertility sparing option, followed by 
chemotherapy compared to gestational choriocarcinoma, which is highly sensitive to chemotherapy, non-gestational choriocarcinoma has lower response rates. Beta-HCG levels are used to evaluate treatment response and defect recurrences. A high level of serum HCG is associated with a poor prognosis, probably because of a large tumor burden. These are the references. Thank you.